Guys, Ed Walters here, and welcome to the second part of the how to play from the rough um, section. Uh, we've seen how to play from sort of, you know, your average rough as we go through here. Um, now we've missed the fairway um, and we've really missed it in some really sort of thick and wispy grass as we go through. So looking at the line, we can see sort of how deep, how buried that is there, how difficult it is as we come through. You know, there's plenty of grass, but there's also plenty of wispy grass here that's going to potentially entangle around the shaft and the hosel that can affect what the club face is going to do potentially turn the face a little bit toe over take some loft away you know and make it difficult for us to get the ball just out and back in play that's the crucial bit from this light is get your golf ball back in play we don't want to be heroic we just want to get it back in play there's two options that we can use for this and i'm going to take you through both first one i mean we look at the lie i've got my lob wedge 58 degrees get it back in play second one is slightly different type of, of way of playing it i've got my seven iron um, again it's going to be a get back in play type of shot but potentially just trying to sort of pinch a little bit of distance as we do it. Uh, this shot's back into the wind as well, so it can be a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna put my seven iron down for a second. Um, and let's go through our setup position here so that we can get this thing out. We just want to make sure, I'm going to, because of how deep it is, I'm going to open the face a fraction. I did mention the potential for opening the face a little bit in the, the previous video on the average lie. Um, I am going to tweak it open a fraction uh, and I'm going to play the ball a tiny little bit further back in my stance. I'm going to again continue to press down on this lead leg. I want my pressure sort of 70% in this lead side because we're going to really focus again on hinging those wrists up, cocking the wrists really sharply so that we can get a real steep angle attack, get some shaft lean and really pop this ball out and forward, getting it back in play. We don't want to try and get too much out of it because the lie is not great. We just want to get it back in play so our next shot is just as simple and as straightforward as we can make it. It's all about getting out of the way. So fraction turn the face, only a little bit as you can see. If I, if I start from there, I've only turned it a fraction, not a lot. So pressure forward. I'm gonna really focus on really hinging the almost the first thing I'm gonna do is try and hinge before I even move my arms and then really powerfully swing through and try and get this ball back out and into play. Here we go. And that's brilliant. That's come out fantastically. It's gone about 40, 45 yards. But it's come out, it's back in play, and my next shot is back there out to be able to be played towards the green, which is great. Right, so let's drop another ball in the hay. Let's find a sort of very similar type of lie that we've just had. Okay. Let me just sort of nestle it in there to get some grass around it. Seven iron option. The seven iron option is really almost opening the face, almost like you're trying to play a bunker shot. So because we're opening the face that way, we're going to move our body position around like we would do so that we're aiming the body to the left, but the face is aiming where you want it to go, this bit. So if I did it from this angle for you, that the face there, and then I'd move my body around till the face pointed back towards the camera. The key is moving the body around the circle and not just going here and turning that way. We've got to move around so the ball position is correct. If we just turn their ball position is not in the place we want it to be. It's going to make life much more difficult. So. Turning the face with my seven iron, moving around the circle in here so the face is leaning. And again, I'm going to be leaning forward, excessive hinge of the wrists going up, steep angle of attack, swinging across the line of the body to try and get it up and out and move it forward. Okay, here we go. Brilliant. And that one has gone about 90 yards. So I've doubled the distance from that really difficult lie. I've made my next shot a little bit easier than I would do with the, the sand wedge. But it's having the two options to play, being brave enough to say, okay, well, 
you couldn't get three iron and open the club face because you're still not going to have enough loft to go through it. So it's having a look at the situation and saying, okay, can I get seven iron, open the club face, play it like a bunker shot so the club holds this way and that stops more of the club face getting turned over as we go through the shot, holding the face so the ball comes out and forward to give us a much better, much easier next shot towards the green. Guys, it's survey the severity of your lie your options so that you get the next shot as simple as possible guys post your comments in the box below again love to hear your thoughts if you've ever thought of playing the shot in those two ways i don't know um, but definitely play both ways and you'll get lots more success again post comments in the box below love to hear from you guys as always anything that you want to see how to play post in the comments box below as well i'll add that to the series we're going from t to green par threes to par fives so make sure you put your comments in there subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already just click the little icon and uh, don't forget to click the bell notification so that every time a new video gets posted you get notified first follow me on social networks the links at the bottom of the screen look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching